Hey guys, you're watching Beneath the Well. Derek here. This is John. And we wanted to look over Volume 1 of Crossed. Now this is written by one of my favorite writers, uh, Garth Ennis. And it, it is drawn by Jason Burroughs. Now, Garth Ennis is, you know, beloved for Preacher. You know, a lot mm -hmm. of his work with The Punisher. All right. He's just a great, great writer. And this this volume is, is, is a really, really good, really good volume. And is... And it's kind of like one of the ones that stands out in Crossed. Like if you haven't, if you're not familiar with Crossed, now this is a situation that is, is even worse than a zombie apocalypse. Like you can imagine how bad a zombie apocalypse is. I mean, as popular as Walking Dead is nowadays, and in shows like that, you know, this is takes it to the next level, takes it to the extreme. This virus, whatever the hell it is, whatever the hell you could call it pretty much turns you into the most evil sick sadist masochist <laughs> rapist just it, it's just yeah. it brings out every evil despicable disgusting thing that like the that's just the bottom of humanity out of every single person it affects you know you become you're just you kill you rape you you just you just you're you're just like a, a mindless violence machine pretty much yeah i would say that's a good uh summary of it i mean again yeah of course zombies are bad uh, 28 days later that was bad too uh this is very bad <laughs> yeah this is like a this whole is, this is another no level i um, mean like they're hyper intelligent they're people but unfortunately they get off on pain and inflicting pain on others and I just cannot imagine even wanting to survive in a setting like this. I mean, it is absolutely horrific. The illustrations, I mean, I, good Lord, I got to give uh, Burroughs credit here. I mean, this is really, really messed up stuff here. And as the series went on, it seemed like it got, it went less for storytelling and more for shock value. Yes, and which was a steady decline, in my opinion, with the, yeah. the quality of them. There were, I mean, there were some good ones eventually later on, but I thought... Volume two was just sick for the point of being sick. Yeah, it, and that is a disclaimer for those of you who are interested in this series or want to look into it. A lot of these can get pretty just disgusting for the sake of being disgusting. Yeah, if you have a weak stomach. I mean, again, I know it's just illustrations, but I mean, look at this. The, it, it's it's very very graphic for sure. <laughs> it um, just it's a whole nother level. I mean, like even if you've read like the Walking Dead comics. And stuff like that. Oh, I yeah, mean, it's not I, even close. You're not you're not gonna see gore and violence close. this bad in a lot of things. I mean, this is definitely not for the faint of heart. Yeah, but again, much like a good horror movie, um, or a good zombie movie, or a good slasher movie, as long as the story is done well and the violence has a point and it's not just mindless and it actually plays into the story, then I think it has a place there i think that's i think that's just very well done writing i think that's awesome to see it's rare and this is one of those rare exceptions yeah fortunately for crossed you know that that's the case where the story is just stellar and i, I think that's a testament to garth ennis's uh garth ennis his ability to write so well and just he's already had a lot of you know practice with preacher i mean preacher for you know was it wasn't exactly you know just this yeah, I mean, exactly. there's some pretty messed up parts if in that. If you've read that Preacher, I mean, well. while this is certainly more violent, I mean, there was plenty of, plenty of offensive stuff in Preacher. Yeah, definitely. But like, he he really he's able to take this setting, and yeah, there's really graphic parts. Yeah, there's really messed up parts. But like, the main focus of this volume is just watching these survivors, it, much like The Walking Dead, survive in the situation. You're watching them go through these trying trying for some reason to survive and these people have seen things that even like the worst zombie apocalypse you wouldn't see i mean like i mean when when you're infected with this thing you were like you were literally you know just like you you're raping body parts you know yeah, like dismembered arms and legs and you know it's just you're just like i mean for instance the the main villain is a guy named horsecock and Guess what his weapon is? <laughs> his weapon of choice. Yes, you know, I mean, so, I mean, like, it's just... And, and and what's scary about Cross, I think, the worst part about it is, since they are intelligent, they're not, it's not like they're just stupid. They're just, like, 
so focused on these primal urges yeah. that they, they get bored and they look for you. So it's not like yeah. with zombies where there's these, you know, stumbling corpses that just if they happen to see you, they come after you and then they'd otherwise just sit there and rot. These guys get bored. They they mobilize. They organize to some extent. Some are smarter than others. Some sure. Some put themselves in leadership roles and they they almost like a crazy pack of raiders you know from fallout or something that are just extremely <laughs> crazy yeah so i mean you're you're going you're trying to survive in this world and it's just it just like why you almost you have to ask yourself why you know what yeah. you know where are you going to go you know that these no but, thank you i mean the one the one thing you got is that they they're not looking for self-preservation they don't care about any pain that is inflicted on themselves so they can put themselves in situations where they wouldn't like colder climates and that's kind of where our 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 group goes you know they start figuring out you know hey these guys are going to freeze to death so maybe we can trek our way up to alaska and that's kind of the focus of this particular group of survivors trying to escape this this insanity you know and the main character's name is stan and he's just He's just chilling in this this diner when this dude walks in holding a, a spine and, and just happens. straight up throws it on the table. You know, I mean, that's pretty much the the introduction into this this madness. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they do a very great job of just kind of throwing you in there right away. It doesn't really waste any time. Um, you know, again, it's 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 incredibly graphic, but if you stick with it, and you know, you'll be invested in the characters pretty quick. Definitely, there's a lot, a lot of characters to like. Uh, one of my favorites is uh, Thomas, which is uh, uh, becomes friends with Stan, you know, and uh, he he's a really really cool character. Um, that you know, he's he's one of the, the 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 kind of like the support characters. There's certain characters you can trust that are just gonna have like the initial group's best interest, and there's other ones that or in most situations that you can tell or just like you can't depend on at all. Sure. He's one of those and uh but he he's kind of responsible for this other character, um, Kelly, who's actually blinded by a nuclear blast that goes off towards the beginning of the book, you know. Oh, it kind of just fries her retinas. So he ends up kind of chauffeur like having to take her around and make sure she she's taken care of, you know. Not because he it has to, but just because he wants to help. And, you know, like I said, we wouldn't recommend too many of the other volumes because, like, there are some that just cross the line just for the sake of shock value and and stuff like that. And that's just not something I'm particularly interested in. Yeah, if you are though, I mean, if you, yeah, if you are, if, you, if you're just into some gory, messed up shit, it's I mean, a lot sicker. Have than at than it. This. Yeah, sure. this, this this volume, the first volume is a great place to get into it test the water see if this is a series for you if you can get past the first volume then and you, and you really enjoy it um that's not to say you'll like the rest of them but that it'll definitely give you an idea of what to expect and i i think personally that this volume is is good enough to check out if you're a fan of the walking dead if you're a fan of other gorier things it is it is a great story the writing is 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 really really good you know the characters as they develop through this this mess. You know they're they're it's real, it's authentic. You know it, it, there's a lot a lot of good here, and it's it's a shame that the quality kind of dips up and down in the series as a whole. But I mean there's different writers that come in, and so I mean you can't expect everyone to write at you know Garth Garth's level. But oh, I yeah. mean it is definitely an an awesome volume to check out, and I I highly recommend it if you guys get the chance. Yeah, so I mean that's crossed right there. Uh, volume one, of course. There's there's plenty of them out there. Oh plenty yes, of plenty in the so, uh, side stories. Yeah, I would I would say check it out if you're interested. Um, are there any other stories that you guys think that are just terrifically gory that you guys think are up up to par with this? Is there any other thing like that that you guys have seen? What do you guys think about just oh, gore in general in, in in graphic novels? Do you think it's you know too much too or is it too much good too little? Uh, let us know what you guys think. If you've read Cross, let us know what you think of that as well. If you enjoyed this video, uh, hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, as always, your support is greatly appreciated. Yeah, so uh, thanks again for watching, guys. And, of course, we'll see you next time.